Hey, it's Raymond here with Go Time Training. I'm back at you with the three trainer tips. This one's gonna be over cueing. Um, when you're working with a client or your friend, you wanna make sure that you are providing feedback that you're cueing. So tip number one is gonna be called 360 view. Um, unless you specifically have to stand in a certain position to say spot like doing a bench press or somebody doing a shoulder press, you need to walk around your client and make sure that you have a 360 view. This is for two reasons. One, it shows that you have more intent with your client that you're actually caring. So it shows the client that you care what they're doing and you're walking around and you're showing that you're very intentive of what they're doing. Number two reason for that is that you can actually see more of what's going on. So doing from one view, like a sagittal view or front view, you might not be able to see if the knee is going across the toe properly or falling in line with the feet. You might not see if the back feet is turned or if it's going right the right direction, um, if there's a slight rotation in the body, whatever it may be. So do a 360 view. It shows the client that you care and that you're very attentive to what they're doing. And it also can see some areas that you might not be noticing from a certain view or from a singular view. Okay, number two is going to be show the common mistakes. So a lot of times when we're showing exercises, we like to show how to properly do it, we go through it, everything, but we don't show the common mistakes. This is a really easy way to keep your clients from doing that. So like, say in a tricep uh, press down, a lot of common mistake is that somebody is gonna swing. So also show the common mistakes that most people do and tell them to kind of avoid that. That's a great way of, of coaching and giving nice feedback. Number three is giving feedback. We want to make sure that we're constantly giving feedback, but we want to give specific feedback. So saying, great, good job, keep going. That's all well, but we want to be specific. What are they doing well? We want to reinforce those positive uh, actions and those positive movements, and we want to be uh, specific with our praise so they can really feel good and they can create mastery in that. So if they're doing a squat, great. You have, haven't had form like that before. Your form is great. You're really pushing those hips back. Um, that is an awesome way to do those flies. You're really squeezing the chest. Your form is perfectly in that position. So be specific. Good, great. That's awesome. Those are all good cues and feedback, but make sure that you're very specific with your feedback because the other times just kind of become voice, kind of become noise. Specific feedback will let the clients know what to do and what to do again properly.